Good morning. Welcome to another encouragement here at I'm Second Channel. Give me one second. My name is Brother. Because it doesn't matter who I am. The only one that matters, beloved, is Jesus. Yeshua Hamashiach, the Son of Man, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Wow. Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, today I want to talk to you about entering into this world to save us, our Lord. We're going to be reading out of Luke chapter 1, and we're going to just go through some verses. I may jump a piece so I can stay with, keep the continuity of our conversation this morning, family, and just listen to the praise and how thankful the saints were over this great entrance into this world of sin to save souls, hallelujah. But first, the gospel. For God so loved the world, right, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever would believe on, rely on, trust in, leaning on with all of your heart, all of your mind, and all of your soul, and leaning not to your own understanding, but trusting in his finished work and what he did as he hung on that tree and died for you and for me, beloved. Glory to God. If you trust him today, he will save you. And he will give you the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, the wind, the breath of God. And we'll begin to walk you out of those those things in your life that are keeping you from being with him. Yes, we must repent of our sins. I don't know how people think they can go on sinning. Read Romans chapter 6. Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? Of course not. The Bible says <laughs> grace won't abound. Grace abounds for those that stop sinning and put their trust in the Lord. That first put their trust in the Lord. In the gospel, yes. But we must turn away from wickedness. He sees us, you all. Let's get into it. Luke chapter 1. We're just going to listen to some praises of some people that were just thankful because they knew how huge this was for the Lord to come and save us. Hallelujah. It really began when the angels told Mary that Christ is coming and foretell his birth. And in the sixth month, an angel, the angel Gabriel, was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Lately, I've been scrolling through and seeing people having videos about whether the birth is real, whether the virgin birth is real. Man, how we do get off track. Lord, keep us on this same uh, event that happened. Let people know that it's true. To a virgin, espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came in unto her 
and said, Hail thou that are highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and he shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. The house of Jacob, the house of Israel forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be seen? I know not a man, a virgin. <laughs> and the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she shall also conceive a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. She, she had faith. As you say, it, it's going to happen. Mary was thankful, you all. Very thankful that this was going to happen because she seen that salvation was coming. And this salvation, his name is Yeshua. His name means salvation. Jesus, his name means salvation. And this is my point here. They were so thankful. How thankful are you? How thankful am I? that he entered into our situation. She gave him praise. Verse 46, and Mary said, my soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior for he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that feareth him from generation to generation. His mercy is on them that, that, that stand in awe of him, that have respect of him that live for him from generation to generation. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seats. He has exalted them of low degree, them that are humble enough to, to call him God and to live for him. He has filled the hungry with good things. Jesus said, I am the bread of life <laughs> and the rich he hath sent away empty, the proud. He hath hope in his servant Israel. He has helped us by coming here. He has helped you Hebrews. In, me in remembrance of his mercy, he remembered to have mercy. Remember the Bible says at just the right time while we were still sinners, Christ came. <laughs> As he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her home. Man, it said, let's go to um, verse 65. 
and fear came on all that dwelt round about them. And all these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea that this virgin had been visited by the, the angel Gabriel and the Messiah was coming. The news spread and all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts saying, what manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, another saint so joyous, so happy, and giving praise over the entrance of salvation himself into the earth to save us. How thankful are you today? Will you praise him today? Is he worthy of your praise today? Is he worthy of my praise today? The answer is yes. And he have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Lord remembered us, y'all. He's worthy of our and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham. There's something out here called a replacement theology where it says that the church is taken over and Israel is no more. The Lord remembers his promise to you, Hebrews, to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the Gentile is grafted in as a wild olive branch. But that original branch is still exists in this world today. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This is why Yeshua Hamashiach came. This is why our salvation came. This is why Jesus of Nazareth came. He, because the Father remembered the covenant. The oath which he swore unto our father Abraham. That he would grant to, unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies. Might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Because we put our trust in him. Now we serve him in holiness and in righteousness that's imputed to us, that's put on our account, our spiritual account by faith. And thou, and thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. <laughs> He's talking to interjecting about uh, his son that's coming. John the Baptist, he like, man, my child is going to prepare the way for him. What a blessing. This caused him to give praise to our Lord. Well, are you thankful today? Can you praise him today for interjecting into our lives, our sinful lives, to give us life eternal, to cause us to be born again? Can you praise him today? Can you praise him? Is he worthy to you? <sighs> this was just something that was hitting me as I was reading it this morning. I'm like, you could sense it. They were so thankful. They were so humble that the Lord would look at them, would look their way. And so I became so humbled that the Lord would look my way, to even look in my direction. And I praise you for it, Lord. 
thank you, Father, so much for who you are. Bless your holy name today. I give you praise for you are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for the horn of our salvation. Thank you for the captain of our souls. Thank you for your son. Thank you for those who were obedient before us and who believed and left a legacy of faith for us to follow. Thank you for giving us the measure of faith. What are we going to do with it, Lord? May we go from faith to faith. May we move from glory to glory in your presence. Thank you, Lord. I'm just thanking you, Father. I thank you, Ahaya, the I am that I am. Thank you, Lord. Be with my brothers and sisters, Lord. May, may some get saved. May one get saved today and call on your name in humility and turn away from wickedness that you would deposit your, your Ruach HaKadosh into them and give them eternal life. Save our families, Lord. Save our friends and our enemies alike, Lord. Time is running out, Lord. Time is running out. And Father, we're just thankful. We love you so much. All these things we do as we ask in the name of your of your dear son, our king, our savior, our brother, our master, our friend, our high priest, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus of Nazareth. And in his name we do pray and we do say amen and amen. Be blessed today, brothers and sisters. Be blessed, beloved. Give him praise today. He is worthy. Amen. I'm second.